Hello and welcome all my beautiful Aquarius friends to your January 16th through 31st, 2022 reading. This is our collective reading for all Aquarius, sun, moon, and rising. That means if you'd like a personal reading, please visit my website, royalmystic.com. I'll be more than happy to assist you once you schedule your appointment. And if you find yourself in a need of a little boost, you can listen to my new podcast, Royal Mystic Collective Wisdom. It's available on all major podcast platforms, and there's a link at the website royalmystic.com if you choose to check it out. Here we go. We've got the Six of Cups and the Three of Rods. The Six of Cups is soul family energy. These are people in your life who want your highest good and are willing to support you as you move forward in all endeavors. They support you. You support them. It's a, it's a very cohesive energy. And some of these might even be fur babies because they are here in our lives to help us through all kinds of energies and help us focus and be in a place of compassion. So solid energy here. And we have the Three of Wands, which is allowing you to let go of some things from the past that just have you've taken as far as you can and you're starting a new endeavor here it might be learning something new and, and beginning to be on the on the track of trying new things or it literally taking the bull by the horns and going in a whole new direction so here comes the energy thank you angels archangels divine pure white light Divine Spirit, we have the Four of Swords. Spirit Guides, Gods and Goddesses. Thank you so much for being present here to allow all Aquarius, Sun, Moon, and Rising to have the information they seek to assist them in remaining on their highest possible spiritual path. We thank you so much, Divine, for these blessings and beautiful messages, and we receive them in the love and light for which they are intended. We thank you for this divine guidance as always, and we welcome this blessed energy. Thank you so much, divine. You're always welcome and very appreciated. So, we have the energy of the Four of Swords as the second cut card, and that's your reminder. You must get enough sleep. You must eat good food. You must be in a place where you're allowing yourself to reset, restore, and rejuvenate. So, on your days off, it's not time to party your, your brains out. You should be restoring your energy and allowing yourself to recoup and recover because that's the most important thing is self-care. You can't move forward on an empty tank, right? So we've got financial security well in hand. This is a beautiful energy to start because it means you're in a place of abundance and money in the bank. And if you're not in that place yet, it's on the way. We've got the hermit which is a new path being sought or being in a place where you understand that you're responsible for bringing your own spiritual light to, to your journey and allow yourself to follow however it may guide you. That light is the energy of divine and being in a place of allowing yourself to follow your intuition. The light symbolizes your spiritual essence and, and energy. Then we have your Major Arcana, Aquarius Major Arcana showing up. What a fabulous display of this. This is the energy of a yes from the universe for your soul's desire or your soul's purpose. Whatever's on the agenda for the universe, you are aligned with it here. And you have the Seven of Cups. This is what I've coined the phrase as the dump truck load of blessings. So this means everything shows up in a big heap all at once. And you have to be ready to roll your sleeves up and do a little bit of work. But it's worth it. It's exactly what you've asked for. We've got the Taurus Major Arcana, the Hierophant. And the Hierophant can mean actually being in the energy of... of a government agency or entity. It can also mean a schooling. If you're learning something new, this can be a university or a school. It is the energy of receiving the welcome or approval and being granted permission. So whatever this may mean to you, it may be some kind of, of uh, membership. And for some of you, it may be some nuptials. Then we have that soul family energy that's showing up here again in your relationship love life and spiritual life energy so that soul family energy is your is your karmic energy of your soul tribe 
That's a very solid energy. And we have the Knight of Swords. Now you're an air sign, so it is also very apparent that this is a very fast moving energy coming in to show you something or bring you some news of something. You may This may be the thing you're being accepted into. And we have the Queen of Wands. This is the energy of being very much in a place of authority. Even if you're not titled that way, this is like being in the upper upper part of the management or, or accepting a position that's new. It can also be someone who's an entrepreneur just breaking into the biz, right? So this is the very start of it. Anytime you see the feminine, it is it is about that energy of something new beginning. And because it relates to fertility for those of you who are going, well, why is that? So uh, it doesn't have to be a woman. It's just feminine energy, which is new growth. Then we have the Ace of Pentacles, which is the energy of being very much on a st stable new platform and new abundance coming in. It is a gift from divine, giving you exactly what you need to have this new thing form. And it can also mean the return of financial abundance and stability. It can be restored. And we've got the Six of Pentacles. So Aquarius, you're doing all the good with the Pentacles here. This is a windfall. This is an extra bonus of money coming in so that you can now have a little spending money in your pocket plus the money that's going to be holding you stable. Now we have the two of rods here as the underlier and this is the energy of making a decision when you have multiple options. It's just for you to know that these are moving parallel. You don't have to worry that you're making a wrong decision. You just have to pick the thing that is most appealing to you. And don't worry, your lessons and your blessings will find you whichever way you choose. Believe me, the universe knows where you live. And we have... Oh, hello, Ten of Pentacles. <laughs> what a fabulous energy. I said you were all about those coins. That money, money, money. So there's the Ten of Pentacles showing that confirmation. With This is a solid energy of abundance. This is a lifetime of abundance. So we love this. So whatever new thing you've got cooking, it looks like it's going to be profitable. Thank you, angels, archangels, divine pure white light, divine spirit, spirit guides, gods, and goddesses. Thank you so much for being present here to allow all Aquarius, sun, moon, and rising to have the information they seek to assist them in remaining on their highest possible spiritual path. We thank you so much, Divine, for these blessings and beautiful messages, and we receive them in the love and light for which they are intended. We thank you for this divine guidance as always, and we welcome your blessed energy. Thank you so much, Divine. You are always welcome and very appreciated. So, we had a couple of jumpers here. Let's see what we've got. Hang in there. Don't give up. You're almost there. Stick to your guns. Don't settle for less. That's the seven of rods on top of the four of pentacles. You've got the hanged man, which is very akin to the soul energy of this hermit. As the Virgo major arcana, the hanged man is the energy of your crown chakra. So allow yourself to connect through energy work using, you can be doing Reiki, you can be doing yoga, you can be doing Tai Chi, and also being in the energy of meditation, allowing yourself to get into that place of enlightenment and using that light to guide you forward. And we have the Ace of Cups right on top of your yes, big fat yes from the universe, whatever your soul's desire is. Very solid energy of receiving the, the seal of approval because the Ace of Cups is the energy of the universe kind of rubber stamping this and going, okay, you have all that you need. This beautiful DNA of all existence is in this cup. So you can make anything as long as you can believe in it and, and pu put your energy toward it in a way that allows it to actually come to fruition. And the King of Pentacles ain't too shabby either. This is the King Midas energy. And this is someone ready to back your play or make a financial commitment to you. So with that Seven of Cups all showing up at the same time, it's a, ma a magical combination. Here we have the Five of Cups. And this is something that you realize there's some a little bit of remorse here or some kind of feeling of being let down. This is the energy of, of being able to let that go and move forward. 
let bygones be bygones, whatever it is. You have to release it. It's in the past. You don't want to keep reliving it. It's already been lived. You don't have to go back and rehash it. Let go and know that your future is not the same as long as you stop looking back and fixating on that last thing. So release whatever that is so that you can see. Because you'll never, if he doesn't turn his head around, he'll never see the cups that are waiting for him. And beautiful, here you are again. Aquarius Major Arcana, the star card, showing up with the soul family energy. Solid, solid confirmation. So you are being helped along your soul's path. Now we've got the Three of Pentacles saying, if you will do all the groundwork, whatever it is you're putting your effort into, you will receive double for your trouble as long as you stay in that energy of focus. So polish, polish, polish your skills. Pay attention to the details. And we've got the Two of Pentacles telling you don't let other people's drama or the world at large distract you and, and keep you from doing what you're in the flow of right now. This little page has his eyes closed because there's some drama going on behind him. The people in the boats are having a hard time, but he can't do anything to pull them out of that situation. They have to find their own way out. If he were to try, he may fail and drown on the way, and he will certainly fail at keeping his rhythm of what he's got going on in his life. So if you're building a new business, you can't stop and give other people your energy because new businesses require your full attention. So, and an, or a new, a new skill, right? Stay focused. Other people's drama, they can deal with it. It is why they're given the, that's their lesson, right? Their lesson to learn. So the strength card is the Leo Major Arcana. And this is Archangel Ariel. Ariel is the Lion of God and he's going to help you stay focused and not turn your head. And not let anyone else come breaking in and try to interrupt you. Because this little lion is a great big angel. And it's the angel body with a lion's head. And he is known as the Lion of God for a reason. He's keeping you focused on the goal and keeping the path clear of any usurpers. So you are being held to the task here as he will go with you and is very loyal. He will go with you through hell and back, but he'll make sure you get make it to the goal. And there is the master manifester, the magician. Beautiful energy showing up, telling you, you can manifest all the abundance you need as long as you believe in, in the ability to receive from sources known and unknown and know that the universe is your source. Your job is not your source. The job is a tool that the universe uses. And there are many other tools. So you're never in a place where there is nothing to be brought in because you can do it as long as you believe in, in the fact that it is always there for you to access. And believe me, I know this is true. The universe has more than, than enough. There's no limit on abundance. The only limit we have is our belief that it's limited. Now, we have the King of Swords, Archangel Michael. Lovely, lovely to show up here. And this is your air sign king, the Aquarius king. So very much in alignment with your strength as the masculine energy means something fully ready to go, something fully formed and actionable. So it is the energy of something fully developed. So you are now in the energy of making headway in your new path forward. And this also is the fully manifested energy of the abundance and being offered it and having that energy. And fully manifested energy of the divine beautiful energy of the holy grail anything is possible so aquarius this is an amazing reading i send you many blessings love light and abundance and may you be able to seize the day and receive all of this wonderful energy for yourself love and light to you all namaste my friends i'll see you soon